Kepler's first law states, All planets move in elliptical orbits with the sun at one focus and the other focus empty. Applied to Earth satellites, the center of the Earth becomes one focus with the other focus empty. For circular orbits, the two foci coincide. Kepler's second law, the law of areas, states, The line joining the planet to the sun sweeps over equal areas in equal time intervals. When a satellite orbits, the line joining it to the Earth sweeps over equal areas in equal periods of time. If areas 1, 2, and 3 are equal, times 1, 2, and 3 are also equal. Therefore, the speed of the satellite changes depending on its distance from the center of the Earth. Speed is greatest at the point in the orbit closest to the Earth, called perigee, and is slowest at the point farthest from the Earth, called apogee. It is important to note that the orbit followed by a satellite is not dependent on its mass. A large, heavy satellite could be in the same orbit with a small, light one, each sweeping out equal areas in equal periods of time. Kepler's third law, the law of periods, relates the time required for a planet to make one complete trip around the sun to its mean distance from the sun. For any planet, the square of its period of revolution is directly proportional to the cube of its mean distance from the sun. Applied to Earth satellites, Kepler's third law explains that the farther a satellite is from the Earth, the longer it will take to complete an orbit, the greater the distance it will travel to complete an orbit, and the slower its average speed will be.